Hi everyone. This video, I'm going to teach you guys how to extend your home Wi-Fi. So we all ran into this situation once. We would go too far away from our router and we get bad receptions. But we have to sit in that location maybe for you know, mowing the lawn or just sitting outside. The reception is so bad. Our internet connection is poor. We download videos or music so slow and it's hard to get in touch with people. Like the chat message is always pending, pending, pending. It's annoying. So today I'm going to teach you guys how to extend our network wider. And today we're going to simulate a case where we go over 100 meters. So why go over 100 meters? Because regular Ethernet transmissions will only are limited to 100 meters. If today we want to go over 100 meters, we're going to learn something else as well. So by extending our wireless network, we're going to use a wireless, wireless access point. And mostly common seeing are PoE wireless access points. PoE wireless access points adapt the PoE technology, which will help us transmit power and data to the important things it needs with one Ethernet cable. It's really convenient. We should try to learn to use this technology to make our lives easier. So today, I'm going to show you guys how to upgrade our regular network to a PoE network. That's number one. Number two, extend the network over 100 meters. Then number three, create a wireless access point for us to connect our, with through our Wi-Fi so we can get high-speed internet connection even when we're far away from our router. Seems pretty good, huh? Now first, let's get our things ready. Our router, an injector, extender, and wireless access point. So the router, I don't need to say that much, provides us the data for our online connection. The injector, the PoE injector, will inject power to our Ethernet cable. So the data will go through an Ethernet cable to our injector, our injector injects power to it, and it becomes a PoE signal. Then the PoE signal will go all the way to our extender here. These are two extenders, and one input, one output extender, and a one input, two output extender. These will ex repeat the signal for another 100 meters, so we get a total connection of 200 meters, so we can use any distance we want within that. And then it'll finally reach our wireless access point, our PoE wireless access point, which will give us internet connection and wireless uh, access point, which we can just you know use our Wi-Fi to access our internet again. It's pretty convenient and pretty easy to do it. So we have everything ready, and now let's take a look at it. So first of all, we're gonna power our router. I assume everybody's router are powered at our houses, so power it as well. And then as soon as it has, you know, warmed up, we start releasing data, we'll connect it with the Ethernet cable to our injector. And of course, our injector needs a power cable as well. So we're gonna use a power cord and connect it to our alternating current. It will regulate the power voltage and inject a proper voltage to our ethernet and then the data without with power will output through this PoE port. So then I'm going to use, we're going to simulate a long distance transmission using this patch of wire or ethernet cable and connect one end to our PoE injector and another end to our PoE extender. So we're going to choose this is a one input, one output. This is one input, two output. What's the difference? Not that much. Uh, the material is different, but they are all IP67 waterproof. They are good for direct burial. And they all output 30 watts of power at the output port. So that's the same. The main difference is the bandwidth. This one is up to 100 megabits per second. This one's up to 1,000 megabits per second. If you have, if your home internet is set up like 500 or 1,000 megabits per second, you should use this one. But most regular houses, you might just get 100 megabits per second bandwidth network speed. So this one would be good enough, and it's just an easy extension. This one you can use to like extend more devices if you want. So I'd recommend to use this one in this case, but you're free to choose whichever you like. So then the, we're gonna screw off the waterproof glands and then insert the, ETH, the data, the PoE signal, to the input port. And then at the output port, connect an Ethernet cable. And the Ethernet cable connects to our PoE wireless access point. So there's no power cord, you can see. 
And after I push it in, you can see there's power going through it. And then there's data is warming up as well. So shortly it will become a very usable wireless access point and we can just gain our Wi-Fi outside our house, far away from our router, and we still got wireless network. All right, that's pretty much it for this video. If you like it and you have any more questions about it, you can leave them at the section below. Thank you guys for watching today, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.